little windy today. BB, we're over here in Tampa by Armature Works where they're going to have a free boat show. Let's go check it out. Beautiful skyline of Tampa from here. Must look nice at nighttime. And this is a free event held by News Channel 8 on your side. The Outdoor Expo Boat Show. And that building over there, that's Armature Works. All righty. Yes, Billy Curly's here. Oh, cool. Hi, hey, how you doing? Thank Very you. Great. Wine samples. Oh, there's the, there's what's her name from uh, News Channel 8. The girl that does the weather and stuff. <laughs> she waved at me. She waved at me. Wow, look at that one. Oh, Manny. Uh oh, gotta watch out for BB. She sees lighthouses. I might bring one home. I might bring one home. <laughs> Those are pretty nice. How much? This one's $2.95. That one's $3.95. That one's $5.95. That's pretty cool. It's like from a Chinese or Japanese. Uh, stuff there nice collections Singapore those will make some nice porch lights yeah they would nice uh, look at that grill right there wow with the table and everything yeah it's pretty nice Wow, that's all wood stuff right there. That's pretty. Oh, look at that octopus. Look how shiny that one is. And that one's a see through with a light in it. Wow, that was a nice. So she got a house where her room was all about fishing. Yeah. Oh, there goes our hats. Yeah. Look at the different uh different Can you imagine sharks? Yeah. We couldn't even go on a boat. No, they could, like, We're not even... It's a good uh, expo to come to when you want to learn about fishing if you're into fishing as well. Got the high tea market. You want to be in the Air Force. They'll draft you in everything here. Wow, that's nice. Look at that for sale. That's a pretty nice truck there. That's what you need in Florida. What would be in an ideal boat for somebody? All well, depends on what you're into. That's true. But that one there looks like it has like maybe a house on the bottom or something. This one here that we're looking at, $175,000. I haven't been on a boat a long time, but I get seasick. But wow, this is pretty ideal. It's a nice little boat here. And then you got down here. 
That's the farthest it goes. That's the bed area. Nice. Pretty nice. Got a lot of gadgets, buttons. Oh, wow. For, for Fishing and cleaning. I know a lot of people say like buying a boat is uh, like sinking your money, especially if you don't use it a lot. But I can't believe it. See how much this one here goes for. 45,995 for that one. They're pretty up there in prices. I will say that much. But if you're not using these boats every day, I mean, and they sit a lot, me personally, they're just beautiful, but a luxury. Uh oh, the bucks. Let's go see who's here. Oh, wow. Lobsters, griddles, keel. Maybe that's where the free wine tasting is. Lemonade, the keel. Mr. Paella. Oh, wow. That looks real good. Woo! That looks real good there. <laughs> the carts we were looking for. Yeah, an ATV. Yes. That's not bad, 16,000. No, it said four. Uh, I if it's battery. It's not bad, but I mean, still, sixteen thousand is a lot. It's electric. No, I know, but I'm saying, I mean, I was willing to spend maybe seven, but I mean, this is brand new. Exactly what we were looking for—a four-seater. Yeah. Like that, facing the same way, not the backward seats, but. Yeah. Like, well, there's the two, four, six. Yeah. That one's probably going to be more. Really? That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> but they've come a long way with these. Yeah, this is nice. What BB likes about this one in Puerto Rico, you can use these on the streets, especially in the mountains. We've seen a lot of people use them uh, there. How much is this one for? But they're all going to be gas. This is sixteen thousand for the two seater. So, but yeah, in Puerto Rico they use these. Well, it's not bad. And they use these other ones over here. I like those though, with the, the box on the back. Yeah, yeah, so we can store stuff. Yeah, 
If I knew this, I can go up and down a mountain. Yeah, you see. If we had something straight enough. That would do it. But yeah, these here in Puerto Rico, you can literally drive these on the streets. Yeah. And use them as a regular vehicle. And we've even seen them on the turnpike. Oh, yeah. Not bad. 10000 for that one. Why would I want that one? I can get one with bigger and storage. It's just saying. But I mean, for an ATV, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like a pool boat. People. Yeah, that's what I said. That's a that's a pretty weird looking boat there. Looks like a military undercover. We'll go over there. Look at this little sea deuce. Yeah, as I said, I mean, for us personally to get a watercraft, it's not feasible because it would be sitting more. And you have to have money definitely to take care of these. But when a lot of people, they come and move to Florida, you know, this is one of the first things that they want. Now a pontoon boat, you invest, you can make some money. These are nice. This is nice. This is now like my grandpa's pontoon boat. But look at that pontoon boat. It's like got a boat on it. Look at that motor. Yeah. But. I used to love going on these and going fishing out. In now this is something nice. I wouldn't mind getting a pontoon. This is nice. And you make money on this one here. You come to Florida. It's a good gig to. To get started. Yeah, new water cruises with these. Yeah. You know, decorate them up. Have an elevator in and out. I can't believe the motor on that one. Son of a gun. This is the one here that's for the contest. Wow. This is nice. That's what I'm talking about. Port lights, dock lights, AC, ACC. And what I like about this one, it's got the cover. Yeah. So it keeps you shaded. But no, this is nice. A lot of them are nice. The sun visors come down. I would say I would go pontoon. Oh, you would go I would pontoon. go with these boats uh, if it was feasible with something we'd use all the time. But yeah. this would have to be an every weekend thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just let the boat sit. No. It's not good for them. No. No. I mean, there's a reason they're called boats. They're meant to be in the water. And they can get dry rot just as well as anything yeah. else. Yeah. I like this one, though. This is beautiful. This is. This is very stylish. USB ports everywhere. Very stylish. Even that one's beautiful. Yeah. I like that one. That was like a perfect size. Even a little smaller than that. Like the one over there in the end. Let's do it, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Here's another nice one. This one got a sink right here. It's a nice little one, but if I'm gonna go with a boat, I'm gonna go with a boat boat. Okay. 
But, uh, I mean, I, I like boats, don't get me wrong. It's just unfortunately. They're expensive. And you gotta use them. It's just amazing how some of these motors are big. You know, and some of them are not so big, but... Like on that blue one, oh my gosh. How much is that one? 86,000. 88,000 for that pontoon. 66,000. That's a nice size. Very upsized. 46,000. Around, you'll see when that's worth half a million. Almost well, half that a million. one right there, 46,000, that's not bad. No, it's a smaller one. 329,000 for that one. Yeah, that 46,000 one is not bad. No, it's a little on the smaller side, but I mean, yeah, if you don't have that, that's not a bad price. This one's 78,000, not bad. See, and the reason it's so much is because it's salt water package. Gotcha. So you can take this in fresh or salt water. Exactly. And that's the $329,000 one. Hmm. Ah, let's go check that out. Pretty nice boat show. And they have all the clothes for you to wear. Yeah. For when you're out on the boat and don't get sunburned. Oh, they even got for the dog too. Look at that one. That I don't know. That's a wave runner or what? Yeah, that looks. That like Yamaha. Look at that. Yeah, that looks like a wave runner. Yeah. Wow. Twelve thousand for the red one. Ninety-nine, seventeen the for the blue one. And this blue one got music and longer. everything. It's got music and everything. You're all set. That's a nice one right here. Look at this seed, dude. Wow, look at this one here. Holy cow. Man, they've come It's got a fishing here. chair and everything. Yeah. And you got the cooler to put your catch in. And these are the fronts of those boats. I mean, uh, wave runners. Very stylish. Well, they've come a long way since they first designed those. Yeah. Nice, I'm telling you. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Let us know if you've seen anything you like. What do you think about boats or fishing or... ATVs. Anything, ATVs. Like I said, uh, these boats are beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But uh, you definitely got to have some money to invest in these and keep them up. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Like I said, a lot of people that come to Florida, they want boats and motorcycles. Two of the most dangerous things that, not deadly like an accident wise, I'm talking about like in your pocket wise. It can get you very hurt and stuff so 
to our next adventure. Everybody take care. Take care everybody. Take care of each <laughs> other. Take care of yourselves. See ya.